Alright, hey guys, welcome to the complete OBS settings guide. This is going to be the best settings for performance and also the best settings for video quality. You can use this for streaming or recording. Let's begin. Go to settings. In general, the main things you're going to take note of is the team. I usually use dark. It's the cleanest and the most simple. You can tick hide OBS windows on screen capture. If I tick this and apply, then I'll no longer be able to capture the screen capture of OBS. So this, this will be good if you have one single monitor and you don't want OBS showing in your streams. In stream, I'll recommend you to connect your account, which is like Twitch or YouTube or Facebook Live, and then click Ignore streaming service setting recommendations. This will allow you to go above the quality limit that Twitch allows. These are just Twitch chat add-ons that can show on the right side of like all the emotes that are supported at 7TV and like better TV. In output, usually people will have X264 and if they have a NVIDIA GPU, they have a NVIDIA NVENG H264. Starting with the X264, you can choose all this. Choose CBR is the best. The max quality will be 8000 for Twitch, but for YouTube would be 50000. For 1080p 60 video, usually you want to go for around 10000, but Twitch does not allow that. The max is 8000, so go for 8000. For this CPU usage preset, very fast is the best because if you set it to a uh, higher quality than very fast, it may take longer to encode and send to the stream and you may drop frames. Profile, set it to high. High basically makes use of more GPU hardware acceleration. And then main would be medium, baseline would be the least. Tune, you can ignore this for streaming or recording. But if you are doing the more advanced things like uh, animation, you can click accordingly. Alright, moving on to NVIDIA NVENC H264. This is going to be a OBS 28.1.2 guide. So when 20 OBS 29 comes out, I may make a new video because these settings might change. So I still set it to 8000 because that's the max Twitch allows. Preset, I put it to around P5. P6 and P7 are the best quality. P7 is marginally better than P6, but you will get the best quality and best performance for P6. So this is the best if you want quality. If you want a bit more like performance, you can go to P5 or P4. Tuning, I set it to medium which is low latency. If you want high quality, you can use high quality. For this multipass mode, Two passes quarter resolution is the best. Two passes full resolution is supposed to be better, but it, according to the research and testing, is not actually better and maybe more taxing on your GPU. Basically, what multi pass mode does is that if you click two passes quarter resolution, it will make better use of your bitrate. So, bitrate is basically the kilobyte per second that you send information to like Twitch or whatever. So if you have 8000 kilobyte per, per second sending information and you can't go any higher, you can use this multipass mode to make better use of that data you are sending. Profile is basically the same as the X264 where high uses more acceleration and baseline uses the least. Usually people click cycle visual tuning turn on and look ahead turned off. These two use GPU so if you have issues with a GPU just turn it off. It says enable and color settings that optimize the use of bitrate. So you can use lower bitrate and still have higher quality. But I will still recommend you use 800, I mean 8000 kilobyte per second if you want the best quality for 1080p 60. If you're using something like a 936p or 720p, you can set it to 6000 or even 5000. This would be better for your computer performance. Up here, Twitch VOD track is basically the VOD that you want to send to Twitch. So if you click track to you can you can click specific things that you want to put into this Twitch VOD track and sp specific things you don't want to add in your Twitch VOD track. I'll show that later. Under recording, set a recording path to where you want the files to go. And MKV should be the best option because if you choose an MKV and your computer crashes or your OBS crashes, the recording will just be cut at where you crashed and you'll be saved. If you use MP4, the entire recording will be gone. So the audio track, if you select all the audio tracks in something like Premiere Pro, you will see multiple audio tracks and multiple bars of audio. This, this can be good if you want to separate the audio. Let's say one is game audio, two is music, three is voice chat. So you can adjust that all accordingly when you're editing videos. Encoder, use stream encoder will be the same settings as here. For audio, the max quality will be 320 bitrate. So audio bitrate is basically similar to the bitrate of your video. 
if you select more, you will use up more of your 5000. So 5000 bit rate, let's say you use 5000 kilobyte per second, it will be split between your video and audio. So if you select audio bit rate to be 320, it will be 5000 minus 320 for your video. That's why people recommend you going as high as possible if your PC can handle it. Replay buffer would be to click a button and it will save the last how many seconds that you have set it to your PC. So let's say you hit a clip in the game, you can hit the replay buffer option and you will save the last how many seconds you set it and you can export that in Premiere Pro later. For audio, higher quality will be 48kHz and then desktop audio you can select your, your headphones, let's say it's real tech. That's the audio too doesn't really matter. The mic, set it to your mic. Say you use the uh, microphone, just set that. I'll use stream and disable because I'm getting it from my mixer. All these doesn't really matter. You can set decay rate to fast and peak meter type to sample peak. Video, this base canvas res resolution is the can is the resolution of your canvas, which is this. Usually, setting your base canvas resolution to a lower resolution and then not downscaling it will be better for your performance because you don't have to use your computer power to downscale it. It's already downscaled in the base canvas. So I set mine to both the same, which is 1920 by 1080 and 1920 by 1080. Common FPS values, 60 if your computer can handle it, maybe 48 or 30. But I set mine to 60 for gaming. Hotkeys, you don't really need to care about all these hotkeys. Just make sure that uh, if you want screenshot output, which is the outputting of your screenshot, you can set that to F7. Basically takes a screenshot of whatever is showing in OBS, in like here in this canvas. Accessibility is just colors of like when you select things. Let's say I'll show you the color of these lines. Advanced, click automatically remux to MP4 if you have have it set to MKV here. It will automatically convert the MKV file to MP4 for you to use later when you edit. Because most video editing softwares don't allow you to use MKV. That's basically it. I'll go through the I'll go through the settings for performance now. So let's say your computer can't really handle it. You can set bit rate to 5,500, tuning to around like P4, or P5, and profile to main. Tuning to low latency, which is medium, and your video set it to one six six four by nine three six. Oh, which is still sixteen by nine, but then it's gonna be a lower resolution, but still looking good on the stream. So this would be better if your PC can't really handle playing games and streaming at the same time. That's basically it. I'm gonna re reset it back to nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Okay. I'll go through quickly how to add sources. So basically the left is the scenes, the right is the sources. You can add multiple scenes which are groups of sources. The sources you can add are application audio capture is capturing audio from one application. You can, after adding this, you can go to advanced audio properties and set that application audio capture to a specific track and set your application audio capture to only one track and then in settings output streaming you can set twitch vod track to a track that is not the one that you have set it to so if you are using spotify and you use application audio capture on spotify you can select the audio track that it goes to to number two and then send twitch vod track to one that will set that will send the track number one to twitch and not track number two where there is spotify this way you won't get dmca strikes moving on audio input capture is basically your mic Audio output capture is your headphones. Browser sources are for like alerts and stuff. Be sure to use Stream Elements instead of Streamlabs OBS. Stream Streamlabs OBS is basically like a knockoff version of OBS where they add certain features and try to sell them to you to earn extra money. I would not recommend you to use Streamlabs OBS. I do not trust them and you should use this normal OBS. Basically, a URL that that's coming from like Stream Elements Paste it in, set the width and height that you have already set in stream elements, just copy that and press OK. Let me show you. For example, my alerts are browser source. This follower number is also a browser source. This one. It's okay, I can show that I can show that link. Color source basically a color. Set any color you want. Then you can size it. It's pretty cool. Display capture captures uh, your display. So click display capture and select the display. I have one display only. 
game capture captures a game let's say Kronker you select the option that allows you to use game capture click game capture capture specific window and select Kronker you'll be good to go image basically an image image slideshow is a slideshow of multiple images media source is for videos scenes you can add a whole scene from here into another scene so it's pretty cool text basically text video capture device is your camera window capture is a capture of windows say uh, chrome if i open tetris oh what's going on what's going on what's going on okay i have no idea but it will work like capture meta automatic window select the window that you want it's a bit bugged right now yep group is basically a group to group all these things so i have a group for my camera so i can just shift it around anywhere i want and i have a wallpaper at the back and a display capture that's all i have for my be right back screen i have alerts on top my spotify widget which you can find at pixel pixel chat i think let me find oh tv it's here you can use this for multiple things or login like a now playing which is this uh emote overlay which the emotes fly and all that and the different now playing which is bigger you can create new overlay they allow you to use a chat a shout out captions emotes stats bar timer now playing pixel alert all these my camera is the camera it's basically a scene the scene from this this is a camera scene and then the be right back which is the background i mean be right back chat which is a chat browser source that if i send stuff it will send here pretty cool i do that in stream elements this is the image background that's all camera you can add filters like a color correction to increase saturation and brightness and all that starting screen i have my alerts on top and a video of a starting soon design ending is a just a text stream ended and a alerts that's pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and also like the video and i'll see you in the next one peace